The following opinions are solely those of Botest.com and its test captain. Hi, Captain Steve for Botest.com, and today I'm on Formula's 350 crossover bow rider. This particular model not only has the FX upgrade, it's also got the new Ilmore Marine One Drive system. Let's take a look, starting with the sea trial out on the water. Now, this Ilmore One Drive package consists of the engines that can be color matched to the boat, a color matched outdrive, and then the joystick. And these external engine flush ports are a nice touch. With those 430 horsepower, 6.2 liter Ilmore engines, we reach the top speed of 56.9 miles per hour at 5680 RPM. At that speed, the fuel burn was 66.5 gallons per hour, but with the throttles pulled back to best economic cruise, we were at 3500 RPM and 30.8 miles per hour. That reduced setting produced a fuel burn of 24.5 gallons per hour, which translated into a range of 195 miles, while still holding back 10% of the boat's 172 gallon fuel capacity. The engine was quick to respond, bringing us up to plane in 4.7 seconds. Our 0 to 20 time was 8 seconds, and 30 came and went in 12.4. With very few waves on test day, we were left with our self-generated waves to see how she handles chop, and it was pretty impressive. Clean slicing through the waves with minimal spray and easy transitions. And what spray we did get was kept low for a dry ride. I also like how she maintains a fairly level attitude when underway, and this also contributes to her good visibility. But to me, the real test is back at the dock. This setup is supposed to be smooth and quiet, and it better be responsive, so let's go see. With the low power setting and a strong crosswind, I was expecting a challenge, but got just the opposite. This was glass smooth, and with the drive's electromagnetic clutch, there was absolutely no shifting noise. The only indication I had that things were working was the boat responding to my hand. It's that smooth. I saw no need to use the high mode, and as for precision, well, you can see here that there was no room between this boat and the one alongside. And I was able to slide the 350 CBR in with near surgical precision, and stop it in exactly the right spot. From my experienced hand, there is no doubt that this is among the smoothest and quietest systems I've ever maneuvered with. Now, let's go over some of the features of the 350 CBR itself. We'll start with her most distinguishing feature, the cabin. CBR stands for Crossover Bow Rider, and this is a cleverly placed feature, making this both a bow rider and an overnighter. A lot is in a small space. There's a head to starboard, forward is a microwave, sink, and fridge, with storage alongside. At the entryway, there's a small settee next to the stairs with floating treads. Aft is a large berth. Behind the settee is cedar storage, and more storage is directly across. This panel includes the optional extended swim platform, and it has a stainless rail surrounding it that we can hold on to when in the water, and it also protects the platform from a dock strike. Below is a swim step for reboarding, and it's easily deployed from the water. The standard platform has a water inlet, shore power inlet, and a stereo remote. There's a large sun pad with flip seat backs and storage underneath, and notice the high-end hinges. And this is a good time to start talking about the upgrades that come with the FX package. It includes upgraded upholstery, custom embroidery, matching hull side graphics with metallic paint, carbon fiber materials, lighted stainless drink holders and speakers, and upgraded carpeting. And we also appreciate these fender hangers, three to each side. As we move into the cockpit, the seat backs flip to allow U-shaped seating that wraps around a deck mount for a pedestal table, and there's the usual storage accommodations underneath the seats. To port is a refreshment center with drink holders, and notice the struts holding the lids open. There's a trash receptacle, sink, storage and cockpit refrigerator. Above is a forward raked arch with lighting and integral bimini fore and aft. Just ahead is a seat that can be used facing forward, with two people facing the helm, or as a single facing aft and watching the wake shrinking in the distance. Just ahead of that is a huge storage compartment that here has swallowed up a couple of life vests along with other gear. The bow has wraparound seating occupying all but the walkthrough. Comfort is enhanced with flip down armrests. There's no shortage of drink holders. Pedestal table bases are in the deck. Two pull up cleats flank the bow hatch covering the windlass and the anchor is mounted through the stem. To the side is a quick connect for the washdown hose controls are just ahead and to the right. And moving to operations, the battery switches are in the lower storage of the refreshment center. The helm starts with a double wide seat with individual flip up bolsters. The dark panel contrasts well with the large dial white face gauges. The two screen displays add a high end appeal to the helm. To the right is the one drive joystick, trim controls and the digital engine controls. The joystick needs to be activated with the push of a button and the Ilmore screen just ahead gives a readout of the action of the drives. 
If the control sticks are accidentally bumped, then the whole system deactivates. Return the sticks to neutral and activate either them or the joystick again. Well, in my opinion, the formula quality, the upscale FX features, and the silky smooth operation of the OneDrive system from Ilmore Marine make this a great boating trifecta. And that is my full review of the 350 crossover bow rider from Formula. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.